Okay, I know it's December, but I did have to push this uh, image of the day and song of the day forward uh, because last stream did require Crab Rave. It was very important. Kissinger died. I needed that there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Stuff will be slightly wintry later. Not the background, though. That's not until, like, the week before Christmas. <laughs> if you never noticed... Fall lasts for a pretty long while into December, which is really weird, but anyway, hello, it's stream time. So, alright, so, <sighs> trying to say so, so much, uh, finished up Slay the Princess last week, I'm gonna play it again later, uh, gonna, gonna go for another set of routes, but for the time being, Keep saying I'm going to play Me Mega Man Network Transmission, and then I don't. So let's fix that. Uh, I, I keep moaning like it's the worst thing on the planet, but it's... I've not played the most of it, but it's not like it's god-awful or anything. But we are getting into some very unusual territory. Uh, Mega Man Network Transmission, as the title might imply, is a sort of part of the Battle Network series, but it is very much a spin-off. It's kind of influenced a lot by the anime. Like, I think straight up there's some, uh, songs specifically from the anime in here. But, yeah, uh, it's a little bit of that. Uh, nothing that happens here is particularly canon, so the events you witnessed, uh, nothing you see is really going to be a part of Mega Man Battle Networks 2 and onward. It's Network uh, 1.5. But yeah, uh, because th this is a very spin-off title. It's kind of irrelevant for the rest. Uh, but most importantly, though, uh, it's also spin-off in terms of how it plays. Uh, this isn't just what if... Mega Man Battle Network was on a console instead. You know, it's it's not like the Pokemon Coliseum games where it's mostly the same, just a, a little bit different uh, when placed on a console for, you know, the sake of being different from the main series. Uh, this is very different. This is a platforming Battle Network game, but it still has battle chips. We'll see how that works out in a bit. <laughs> of course, there will be a tutorial which I will need to pay attention to because I've not played much of this game. I've never really tried to beat it, so like... Yeah, the most I've played of it would be just around like when I started playing around with Dolphin and, you know, just trying things out and seeing them. So, this is gonna be a bit of a new experience, which is one of the reasons I didn't LP it. I know my way around a you know, normal Battle Network game a little better than Transmission. Anyway, though, enough of that. Let's, let's just, uh, actually, real quick, before we begin, I just want to check my, uh, hotkey settings, just, just in case. It's out of curiosity. What's my save state? Okay, it's just my usual INP. I changed that beforehand. Cool, good. Just wanted to check. Anyway, Transmission, here we go. That's not the window you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use this one. Nope. Come on. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to move this over. You didn't see that, but I was doing that for my sake, and oh my god, that's loud. All right, uh, checking the volume. Though. Yeah, I, I had to lower this all the way down to 24.5 dB, which is pretty low, honestly. Like, typically, I lower things for, like, LPs and streams by, like, 15 or 18 decibels, but, yeah, no, network transmission's very loud. Alright, so let's start a new game. Oh, there he is, it's the life virus. <laughs> har har har! I know this is supposed to be Wily, but God. You wouldn't know that if you hadn't played Battle Network. <laughs> if you just had a GameCube and saw this and 
you were interested, you'd be like, why is this big weird guy laughing like that? Why is the big monster laughing like a man? What? <laughs> You're just gonna kill him with a regular buster? What? <laughs> no, it does not have an English dub. All the voice acting is in uh, Japanese. All hail the woo! And so, thanks to me and Mega Man, the ambitions of the WWW were shattered. That's not Lan's voice at all. As you would know if you played uh, the DS version of Battle Network 5. He sounds more like this! He distinctly sounds like a grown man! Let's do it, Mega Man! And Mega Man sounds almost exactly the same. I urge you to look up the Battle Network 5 DS voice acting when you have the time. It is... very funny. <laughs> Even when I was a kid, I was like, this is not good voice acting. See, this is a joke from Mega Man, because Lan absolutely does not suffer from sleep deprivation. The one thing we know about Lan is that he just sleeps in all the time. I'm glad Mega Man's having a good time. It seems unusual that Lan's kind of bored, but... He's, he, look, he's not one for schoolwork, but I guess he does like other things to do in the meantime. <laughs> anyway, Lan, did you do today's homework? No! <laughs> oh, Lan. Hey, for that board, do your homework. Uh, are there any world-ending threats on the horizon, please? <laughs> oh, thank God, email. It's because Lan doesn't like schoolwork, Mega Man. Not all of us can be nerds. Alright, so we've got a whole bunch of... We've got a whole bunch of emails from everyone. Alright, um... I think least relevant at the moment is from our good old pal Dex. Uh, with his net navi, Gutsman.exe. <laughs> who sends us the mail, I am the undefeated. <laughs> Yo, Lan, are you working on your antivirus strategies? Well, guess what? I'm undefeated, just so you know. In case the subject line didn't tell you. This doesn't seem to have anything to do with just being undefeated. Dex is just... <laughs> he subjects all of his emails like that, even if they have nothing to do with fighting you personally. <laughs> I'm the undefeated! And then I update my antivirus software! I stay, pro I stay protected, Lan! Do you, wimp? Alright, uh, here's Higsby, who did once work for, uh, the WWW. Uh, he's having a sale. Yeah, that's about the voice I would think of he'd have in the Japanese version. I don't remember what his English voice would be. I don't think I watched the dub uh, when I was watching the Battle Network anime. Uh, for reference, I did watch some of the Battle Network anime way back when, uh, when it was being illegally uploaded to YouTube. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, I did not get through the entire series before it started getting taken down. Uh, nowadays, it's probably a lot easier to find it on admittedly more dubious locations. Um, but I still haven't watched all the way through, but I did watch the sub version. I 
I mean, shouldn't it say Higsby's? I, I guess there is an S there. There's a couple S's, in fact. Alright, so next off, mail news. <laughs> news mail. Ale news. Ma mail news. Was mail new news mail <laughs> Damaged by the new type of virus known as the zero virus is spreading <laughs> Again, don't expect anything from this game to make it to later games, but we do have a zero virus, which is you know, gonna be kind of relevant, uh, starting next year for the Mega Man X series. <laughs> the zero virus infects Navis instead of electronic devices. But they are I mean they're not devices, but they are... whatever. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Alright. If your net navi gets zeroed, you just can't use your net navi. Sorry. Alright, now we have Mail who says, please find roll. It is really weird thinking about people, like, losing track of their net navis in the situation. I remember what roaming the net was like. My eyes were on Mega Man the entire time. Alright. It's Dex, amongst other things. <laughs> Can navis get lost? Oh no, I'm sharing a question with Lan. Suddenly I feel like the answer is extremely obvious. All right, hell yeah, an excuse not to do homework. <laughs> oh cool, he literally just thinks it. That's your I don't want to do homework face. And remember, cyber worlds are dangerous, so don't forget to save your game. Alright, so, unlike the Battle Network games, we don't actually have, like, an overworld we can navigate. Uh, Lan is just gonna walk around randomly and check his pet, which is... Unfortunately, yeah, no, that's, that's kinda accurate. Have nothing better to do, you, you just look at your phone. There's no real reason to. You just do it automatically now. Alright, so yeah, let's save first and foremost. And yeah, I'm, this, this is also just a test recording. It actually might be a test recording from when I was planning on LPing this. <laughs> Jack out! Not used here. Lan's just like, wait, can I like, jack out of life? Is life just one big simulation? Am I a net navi? And Mega Man's just like, that's stupid. Shut up, Lan. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Alright, we've already looked at emails. Uh, sub chips are basically just like healing and other like abilities that you can just use from the menu. Alright, in terms of our folder, we've got cannon, shotgun, V gun, bubbler. Wow, I got a bubbler already. Nice. Mini bomb, little bomb, sword, wide sword. Longsword already, nice. You never get to start with these. Shockwave, yeah, we've got a bunch of good things. Raton one. Burn, wow, we've got Burner already? That one's not until we fight the recolor of this guy. I don't even remember what repair is used for in this context, because let me tell you, we, we don't have the usual battle network, like, grid. <laughs> Stone pod. For a set time, you can't be moved or attacked. In case you just need a breather. Of course, we don't have anything in the pack because it's, you know, we haven't picked anything up. Alright, well, we don't have anything good. Um. Okay. So, yeah, I was wondering, it's 
the uh, right trigger, or is this Z? Oh, that must be Z. Okay, the Z button allows you to favorite a particular uh, battle chip. Uh, if you see, if you look up there, uh, the limit of what you can equip as a favorite chip is eight millibytes. So, or uh, megabytes rather. <laughs> yeah, it's really small. <laughs> Not really much you can actually uh, equip. Not a lot of things we can put on by default. Seems to be in. Uh, eights. Uh, what we what we have in general. So we've got eight, we've got sixteen, and we've got the extremely high thirty-two. Of course, you can increase your capacity so that you can get better chips as a default, but it's gonna be a little bit before we can use burner. For now, um. Oh, the powerful. I do not remember, like, how anything works in the context of this game. I guess I'll just go with cannon for now. Actually, how much is bubbler now that I think about it? Probably a little too much, right? Oh, no! Actually, that's, uh, 8MB. Cool. I want that for a reason. Alright, so this is Mega Man. <laughs> Look at Mega Man, he's ready for battle. Library is just how you check your chips. Simple enough. Keys. Oh yeah, key items, duh. What's the difference between items and sub-chips? Alright, I'm gonna save one more time. Because look, I favorited one of my battle chips. I've got to have that progress saved. What if I don't? Alright, now let's go to map. Let's jack into the net from Land's house. Though if we want to, we can scroll to Higsby's, but... We can't buy anything. He's got a sub-chip. That's just mini energy. That's just, uh, healing. We've already got bubbler, mini bomb, aqua sword. Would be really useful, but again, we don't have money. Another stone bod. Alright, Higsby doesn't have anything too impressive right now. Again, Aqua Sword would be real useful if we had any ability to use that right now, but we don't. Alright, to the internet we go. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Save real quick. <laughs> What's it like, Mega Man? Um, normal, Lan? Lan, this is just how I view the world every day. Yeah, it's been a while since we've busted viruses. And now this is a completely different game. Okay, so... First, send me the chip data as use... Uh, that I use as a weapon against viruses. Alright, so Z is the custom meter then. Alright. I will try not to get that confused with the R button. Also, I like how we apparently <laughs> need to say MP and then clarify that as <laughs> MB. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know that uh, the stuff is also used on the uh, green meter as well. I don't know why they don't... Well, actually, to be fair, I guess MP could stand for memory points in this case. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, I can't believe I forgot, but yeah, you do have... A uh, limit to how many of these you can use at a time. Though that does mean that it's not one and done when you use a chip like it normally is. It's just basically you are equipping spells. 
All right, so I want this. Let's have a close range attack. Cannon, V-Gun, cover 30. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, L R, R of course. Okay, so that's... Oh god, is that X or Y? I legitimately don't remember. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. But yeah, whatever I have equipped to the... What would be a Y button on the Xbox. <laughs> I don't remember how I've ma mapped the uh, GameCube controller to this. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's best to kill things so that you uh, replenish your meter quicker. Let's see. So we've got mystery data here. 50 zennies, that's not really much of anything, considering how expensive things got. Ah, not a security cube. <gasps> Damn it, they're making the internet more secure. How dare they. Alright, well, just like in the main series... Sometimes you will be blocked out by security cubes. <laughs> A pox on them for being secure. There we go. Oh, and we get a chip from that. Considering that's the cannon enemy, that means we're going to get a cannon most likely. Oh, well the passcode's just right over here. <laughs> Takes a lot less time to get it in this game. Thank goodness, that's such a long range. Uh -oh. Now the nice thing about these cannons is they won't fire unless they've locked on. Unlike later cannons. Yeah, we got a normal sword. Sure. Alright, oh dear. More Zoe, got... Man, stuff respawns here like it does in the classic series, huh? Alright, take that level 1 cube, you're nothing before me. Ow. <laughs> oh right, oh god, you can slide in this game. Oh no. Oop. Kill that rabbit. Kill it faster. That rabbit is a threat to me. Forget if you're able to uh, refresh your chip usage. Wow, pea shooter does nothing right now. <laughs> oh, HP memory, nice. I suppose that's automatic, right? Okay, yes. Yeah, I can't use it here, which I assume just means it's a part of me now. Oh, that's right, that's just talking to land. I'm looking for this symbol. Oh, also, important thing to note, uh, it says backup one up there. 
uh, you do actually have lives in this game, which is highly unusual. Usually if you die on the internet, you die in real life. You know- oh, crud. My ass kicked by this rabbit. Rabbit, Jesus. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, usually you just game over if you die. Also, what a pose to be stuck in. <gasps> Woo! Spring break! Boy, I wish I didn't waste my swords like a dummy. Yeah, it is really weird that Mega Man has a backup in this game, considering he doesn't usually, which... I just assume, usually, that, like, Mega Man's just too powerful, uh, to actually back up properly. Uh, I am going to be spoiling... Battle Network 1 since I've LP'd that. It's not gonna come up much, but I should remind everyone, uh, if you somehow don't remember from Battle Network 1, that Mega Man.exe is just Lan's dead brother. <laughs> He's Lan's dead brother, Hub, who was turned into a net Navi by Lan's dad. And also, at the end of Battle Network 1, uh, Mega Man fucking died, and in order to come back, uh, he basically just had to, like, resync with Lan, which means that if Mega Man dies, Lan also dies. I don't think anybody actually mentions that ever again. It's just supposed to be, like, raising the stakes for the last fight of the first game with just an absolutely ludicrous idea. But I see no reason why that would be undone after the first game. If the, the damage to Mega Man was too extensive... I can only assume that if Mega Man dies, not only is there not a backup of him for being made of dead brother, uh, but also, Lan just has a fucking heart attack too. So anyway, all that is to say, I'm surprised, but I guess glad we have backups. Oh, I didn't actually want to use that. Well, I'll just shoot those guys. Alright, well, here we are in Den Area 2. Locks up panels are incorrect rats from a programming standpoint. Oh wow, the chip selection here fucking sucks. I guess I'll just use this up. And if I need a quick heal, I'll use this. Oh, it still only has three uses left, cool. Okay, so this is what Mega Man was talking about. Alright, so yeah, this being very much modeled after the classic games as well, there are spikes in this game. <laughs> Be careful to never touch the spikes. Alright, so yeah, we've got to deal with instant death in this Mega Man Battle Network game. Alright, we recovered a cannon. That's good, I guess. I forget if uh, getting items or getting chips also adds to your maximum use of them? That would be very helpful. If I were to damn it, just refresh everything and have a ton of cannons at the ready. Oh, and I can't charge yet. This does work like the, uh, Battle Network games. You cannot charge until you actually gain levels in charging. Okay. Oh, let's see, let me just double check. Okay, good, it works. <laughs> Alright, well then. Yeah, I don't particularly want to be wasting time. I'll try not to abuse that too much. Uh, for the most part, I'll only do that at the start of areas. I just want to not waste time 
uh, by getting game overs for the stream, so I'm not going to save state now or anything. Get the cannon back. There we go. <laughs> oh, that takes a hot minute to actually use. Alright, well, pea shooter time. Oh, that takes a while. Might as well just heal up the full. Oh, there we go. Got a cannon back. Another security cube. But this one's level two. say, a lot of the things from Battle Network translated fairly well, for better or for worse, uh, into network transmission, including beginning of the game Buster kind of just sucking a lot. <laughs> okay, so this is just an extra life then. Okay, so is this one of the games where you just, like, have a set number of lives? And if you game over, you actually just start from that set amount. <laughs> you can come back to life! Let's get it now! You got a book of choop. And we've got a gigantic, uh, mystery data over here. Forgot what mystery data was called. Oop. So as always, I'm gonna need to determine what the order of operations is for Buster. Attack power is always good, but you do want to charge so that you can charge faster. Oh dear. <laughs> Fucking terrified by this rabbit. Oh god, it's kicking my ass. This rabbit's got my number. <laughs> oh god, I missed. <laughs> the scourge of the internet. <laughs> that bitch. Alright, I think at this point I do need to... bring up battle chips so that I can actually <laughs> do things again. I don't really have a preference for ordering things. Oh, hey! Roll, how's it going? Roll, why are you doing push-ups here? I don't know, seems like a good spot. There's a fire up ahead. Well, bad news about my current ship. A fire in a cyber world? I mean, in an oven, maybe, but a cyber world? Ludicrous. Fires can only spread on local networks. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Oh, thank you. Alright, got heat armor for free. This is the stance. <laughs> How do I talk to people? Oh. Um, I simply do not, I guess. I guess uh, Roll's just gonna be here doing this animation. She's staying limber. She's staying in shape. Alright, well, I definitely want to equip that heat armor. <laughs> equip which armor? Heat. There we go.
Oh, nice. <laughs> Net on fire. This song is real good, by the way. Also, this is beyond fire. That's just... What's lava called when it's on the internet? I don't know. Is it lava or magma? Fireman. He's back on his bullshit. Fireman, he was a woo navi. He started the fire. Wasn't always burning while the world's been turning. I started the fire. Burn. Alright, well, I'm gonna need a full heal to get my stuff back, because, um, kind of used up my water elements. Hmm. Alright. You do that. Wait, actually, this goes in an arc, doesn't it? I want shotgun. Oh, thank goodness. HP recovery. Oh, dear. Yeah, so not being very experienced in this game, I did not realize just how... Uh... Oh, really? Uh, how resource-intensive this would be. Damn, I'm already kind of feeling the pressure, and... Yeah, I'm not going down there. <laughs> yeah, under there, that's the way to Mail's PC. <laughs> that just happened. Wait, if that's where Mail's PC is, is her computer just on fire? Mail's just, like, mildly worried, but otherwise reading a book while waiting for a roll to come back, and then her fucking computer just bursts into flames. Huh, that seems bad. I don't believe we're able to get some of these items until later on. Very least, it seems like a bad idea to try for the time being. I think I'm going for charge first. Just being able to charge would at least reduce the time needed to fight these guys. I don't think I'm killing this dude. <laughs> Oh, I don't even need to slide. You just overshoot me no matter what. Can't complain about that. I might as well explore. Might find some good items if I explore. I might also die. <laughs> Everything in the Ow, this game is just very intimidating. Can't believe they installed one-hit kill spikes onto the internet. Why would they do that? That's just so people can't access shit from public libraries, right? Like, this is just the equivalent of putting spikes on benches. It's just spikes on benches, but for homeless people who go to the library to try to access the internet. <laughs> now we just have spike traps to deter them. Man, I'm making this fu cyber future very dystopian. Although, that being said, wouldn't libraries just, like, have net navvies that you could, like, use? Public net navvies? That'd be rad. I already did. Don't worry, Mega Man. I already did. Oh, hey, it's one of those bitches. Oh god, this is literally just a Mega Man classic style boss. Also, I am dying very quickly. Oh god, that guy does a lot of damage. Right, yeah, I'm playing what is essentially a classic Mega Man game without any practice. Oh, 
Okay, so repair is specifically for this sort of thing. <laughs> so be ready to do that. Also, that's fire. Oh god, this is kind of just very classic Mega Man. There's just... Isn't that, like, literally Mega Man 1? Okay, so that was a full HP heal. Okay, Fireman's in there. Oh boy. Alright, time for a boss battle. Hmm... Am I ready for this? I mean, at this point, it's kind of difficult to go back, so... I'm gonna save states. And... Oh, whoops. I mean, I was ready for battle, but I wasn't ready to answer yes, if that makes any sense. Where's your enthusiasm? I mean, look, Fireman, you have turned this whole entire part of the internet into just an inferno. But look, again, going back to this game is kind of fitting for me going into Mega Man X in this next year. You are by far not the most excited for things to burn. I'm, I'm sorry, Fireman. You are going to be outclassed. Oh, he doesn't seem to recognize us. The woo! No, they're dumb, and they don't let me burn enough stuff. <laughs> I like burning things, that's all. <laughs> that's my whole thing. This jerk won't listen to reason. Now it's your turn to burn. And what they'll find is just a net navi standing there. Where the net navi got me high. Alright, time for a boss fight. Oh right, you're supposed to slide under that. This is a very intense fight for the first fight in the game. Well, there I go. Okay. I might save state in <laughs> battle, actually. Not, not like in the midst of it, but like past the cutscenes. I think QW is my other save state, save load. Okay, yes. I'm gonna have a secondary save state. Just so we don't have to do this again. Cause yeah, alright. Boy, this is... This is the kind of boss that I would not suggest doing first if I were playing a classic game. <laughs> I mean, I might play this boss first in a classic game, but it wouldn't be a good idea. There we go. Jeez, I do not have the rhythm of this fight down at all. Okay, don't know how this works. Oh, and I died. <laughs> I got close, though. Admittedly, I am very happy I don't have to do a no-hit run of this, because... Oh, boy. I mean, it's not Mega Man 1 Fireman. This is a hard rhythm to get down. There we go. Hell yeah. And pose. Alright, so... Basically, the boss is... He can kill me, but I can also kill him. Very quickly. <laughs> It is a battle of who is more aggressive. Actually, on second thought, I could probably do a no-hit run of that without too much issue. Not easy, but... Yeah, once you get a little more aggro and just be patient for when you can actually hit someone, 
someone being fireman specifically, it's not too bad. All right, delete fire.exe. And hey, it's Mr. Match. How's it going? Extremely Monster Mash voice. It's Mr. Match. <laughs> I do a thing. Fireman went crazy and did all this himself. Look, do I like setting things on fire? Yes, absolutely. But in this instance, it wasn't me. I can't believe that. <laughs> you mean your internet history? <laughs> Search history, my net navi, where is he? <laughs> the search history of just looking website by website to see where your net navi is. It's escaped and it's somewhere setting these web pages on fire. Oh god, he got to Google Images. I'll never find him. <laughs> it's just one of those, where is my net navi? Where net navi? What happens when you can't, can't find your net navi? Can I be arrested if my net navi does crimes without me? What do you mean strolling around? You're probably at your computer, I assume. I mean, I guess he could just be, like, walking around. Just jacking into every port. Is this the computer where my net navi is? He's just barged into Lan's house, also logged onto his computer. Lan somehow did not notice. The fight was too intense. Lan, I think we should tell your dad about this. I don't know who's in charge, but your dad could probably beat them up. Hey, Match, is it cool if we, like, take Fireman's E-Corpse? Look, I've already been to jail for crimes I did do. I don't want to go back to jail for crimes I didn't do. <laughs> I would have found Fireman sooner, but I kind of found, fell down a rabbit hole. I'm sorry. In my defense, if I did find Fireman, what was I going to do about it? <laughs> the only way I can access the internet has gone mad. What do I do after this? Also, yes, we get a splash screen at the end of this. Alright, so now that we've cut to commercials and cut back, here's Lan. Oh yeah! Oh god, I for forgot you actually get trophies for uh, the net navvies you defeat. We now have a fireman uh, action figure. I don't know how this makes sense in the universe, and I don't care. <laughs> Dang that match! I can't swear around my dad! <laughs> Would swear if you weren't here. Can't swear around dad. Can't swear around Mega Man, because then he'll tell my dad. Or my mom, <laughs> who... I don't think appears in this game, unfortunately. Isn't a vaccine something like medicine? <laughs> Lan, I don't know what you're ready to learn about. <laughs> you're still in elementary school, and also, quite frankly, um... <laughs> <laughs> this is a little above you, Lan. Alright. So I have to teach my son about the ambiguity of morality in creation. So there are good viruses too? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's dumb. Never think that thought again. Anyway, though, people can sell you bad medicine. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so somebody's out there selling a fake vaccine for the Zero Virus. Considering Dex did mention he was gonna go out and, uh, get that for Gutsman, you can probably guess where this is going. <laughs> What? Lan's dad isn't going to be able to come home for some time? Dang, who would have guessed? Wow, what an unusual turn of events. I know this is all being done, like, over pet phone, which is probably not super hearable, but I feel like Lan's mom is just in the other room like, oh, I'm pretty sure my husband just said he's not gonna come home for a while. Of course he's not. Of course he's not! He'll do that anyway, Lan. Alright, so we just have to, uh, find the guy who's peddling fake medicine. Cool. We'll just beat him up. Alright, so there's a mention of Mom. I'm almost paused. Well, there is actually one portion of the portion right here. I'm, again, I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Surely, this'll be really easy to find. We'll just access the dark web. Actually, we cannot access the dark web right now. If we did, we would die. I got my ass kicked by basic stuff. You think I'm ready for the undernet at this point? <laughs> Alright, so what do we got for emails? Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Oh, Roll came home. That's nice. Got a Navi chip. So yeah, we got Roll's Mega Chip. I guess it's just called the Navi chip in this one. And I believe we also picked up Fireman's at the end of his battle. Alright, and just like in the main series, if there's an area that's like closer to where you need to go to on the internet, uh, just go to somebody else's house and log in from there. Alright, Battle ML. Battle mailing list. Okay, so this is the boss refights, right. Oh wow, there's actually a mention of Freud? Okay, I don't think he's gonna be mentioned... ever again in the series? It's fine. Nobody's gonna care that we're subscribed to a thing. <laughs> Look, they've automated this. They don't care. Well, I mean... Okay, I know it has to be called Mega Man command for, you know, gameplay purposes, but also, <laughs> I don't think anybody has a Mega Man button on their pet. I think that's a LAN exclusive thing. Uh, R Freud is the guy who owned, uh, Iceman.exe. Uh, he was the one with the kidnapped kid in the first game. Uh, so yeah, he, he was being blackmailed into doing the whole, uh, water scenario one. <laughs> I do not remember that. Again, I mentioned before, I did not get through all of Battle Network before it was removed from YouTube, but god, I do not remember that, but that's wild. Iceman is just here. Where's Freud? Nobody knows. Alright, this is just gonna tell us about default chips, which I've already done. Okay, that... that makes sense. Oh god, is he still a generic NPC in the anime, though? Because that's wild. 
Alright, um... Oh, right, I wanted to check the folder. Alright, cool, we got firearm. Flamethrower attacks that pierces obstacles. So, uh, mega chips in this game, or whatever they're called, work like they do uh, in the uh, actual Battle Network series, where you basically just summon a person and they attack. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we don't want Freud here anymore. Just, just give the kid a distinct design. Alright, uh, what don't I want to use? Also, gotta check. Okay, cannon, I think was at 10 before, so... I do think that that actually raised the capacity of it. Yeah, so... Uh, enemy drops can actually give you a higher, uh, use of items. Good. Good to know. Uh, let's see... Maybe I should keep Stone Bod, but I'm not going to. I'm half tempted to remove Repair. Um, Burner I did not find to be super useful, because that's a very limited range. It's strong, because yeah, 80 is very good. That is one of the higher attack powers I can get, but I think I'm just going to give myself this myself something with a uh, better range. And I think... Hmm. At the moment, I might want to keep Recover 10 until I start getting a... Uh... Oh. Hmm. I think I'll get rid of Recover 10. They're both the same use. But, I think I'll only really use heals if I need them. So I gotta be smart about keeping them on the screen. Because now that I only have one regular type of heal and also a summon heal, I can't just like throw it on casually. Uh, do I also want to change up my default? Actually, if this is just... I might as well favorite this one, then, if that's eight. So is there, like, a quick shuffle? There is, there is. Okay, cool. Let's go by ID, then. I guess most of these were in ID order already. Cool. Also, make sure to save... <laughs> Always save. Got plenty of time left, though, so... Oh, right. <laughs> Go to map. You kind of live in your menu in this game. Uh, oh, the park's at Jack and Points? Okay, so that's Net Battle Simulator. Alright. So I can do that if I want to. But I've already got Fireman's basic chip, so I'm not really hurting uh, for fighting him again for any purpose. How much money do I have? Not enough for any other armors. And he doesn't have anything that I know I want off the top of my head. Alright, I'll save up for more armors. I don't remember what the next boss is, but if it if it's what are, what I remember it being, then I don't think elemental armor is particularly going to help. So let's just move on. All right, into the internet we go. <laughs> Some of the internet is still on fire. Look, the only way to stop a bad guy with a bad vaccine is a good guy with a good vaccine. <laughs> Alright, Lan, you've got to figure out programming right now. 
Okay, guard, bubbler, roll, three-way. Not really a great selection, but I'll work with what I have. I can't believe I'm instantly regretting not defaulting cannon. <laughs> I was like, oh, surely cannon will come up immediately. But now I'm fighting rats. Oh, God damn it! now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. You wanna not? You jerk. Rats. Oh. Ah, didn't get all the money. Nope, that is specific direction. But I did reflect it perfectly. Well, the second time. It's not ideal. Oh dear. Mm. Oh dear. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> the rabbit menace has been defeated for now. Oh, oh you're friendly. You're just a guy. Alright, so yeah, that's just the hint that, like, the level hasn't changed completely, so it's still gonna be weird. I can't get up there yet. I do not want that rabbit there. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, rats are actually pretty tough. Alright, so if I keep going this way, this is the fireman area. Alright, well, the only way to fight a rat seems to be with a different rat. They're so low to the ground that I need a seeker shot to really get them. Alright, global area one. We've done it. We've reached the world wide web. <laughs> These guys are oddly cute. Alright, oh hey, so... I guess since I didn't use two of the chips last time, we have an extra two this time. Even though these are two he- uh, these two are also here. Uh, I think... This is not a great loadout overall. So I think I'm basically just going to power heal with roll. Get a couple of items like this. I'll keep sword in case I need to cut anything, but the rest are weird shots. Oh, that explodes, so I get a... It's not just an arcing weapon, so even though I was a little off, it was fine. Oh, nice, another little bomb. Actually, uh... Oh god, a platform with spikes on it. Get his ass! Okay, so let's see, what do I want to use here? Oh god, this is terrifying. <laughs> Alright. Spike platforms. I'm gonna need to use chips here. Though if you wanted to drop any, that would be great. Oh, thank you. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Thank you for hearing me and doing what I asked you to. Cross bomb, nice. Um, uh, can I get back up here? I can. 
There we go. Very nice. Oh, another HP memory. Let me double check. Does this get used automatically? Yes, it does. Good. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I am hoping to find a new power-up soon. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I do not like dodging enemies with spiked platforms above me. Nice. Alright, so when I do get my cannon... I will be all good... To oh god. I don't even use your chip much, so I don't care to kill you that much. <laughs> it's fine, you can live, I don't need rewards from you. We're, we're good, we're square, we're even. We haven't done anything to one another yet, let's keep it that way. I mean, I don't need it, but I'm not gonna let it pass me by. Ooh! Sword enemies, you say? Oh, hell yeah! Now, does that count like the, uh, as the longswords like the, uh, main games? I hope it does. Uh, I don't want to area progress yet. Ah, help. Go. I saved you. <laughs> the outer net. Cool. Alright, I don't think I have the security cube for this, right? <laughs> provider? What's a provider? This is for any kids who don't actually know how the internet works. Now you don't have to ask your parents what a provider is. So that you don't have to look at the just absolute dead look in their eyes when they have to explain it and acknowledge their provider at all. The worst thing. Nobody wants to talk about that. <laughs> Which provider's just putting all these lethal spikes? <laughs> I mean Comcast, but as established, it's probably a public thing to just dissuade uh, the homeless from accessing the internet from libraries. It's just brutalist internet architecture. <laughs> I do like, though, that they have to have an explanation of providers in this game. I don't think that ever actually comes up in the rest of the Battle Network series. No other game is concerned with how the internet works or, like, who makes it happen. It seems more like a public service in most of the Battle Network games, like, everything is based off this cyber future. It would be ludicrous if we did split things up into companies when the internet is just such a necessity. Social commentary. Alright, so we're not on the dark web. Uh, that's completely... God damn it. God, oh. Wow, I whiffed that completely. Uh, this isn't the undernet, of course, but it is the bad neighborhood of the internet. I don't really see how this looks different from the other uh, areas of the internet we've been to. But rest assured, it's completely different. less terrified of these enemies in this game. <laughs> Normally the night enemies are kind of the bane of my existence. They can be pretty tough. But this game works differently, which means they cannot steal my area, and they cannot cut me to ribbons. Ooh, Viga, nice. Gotta recharge of this in case I need it. Oh god. Whoop. Got him. 
Oh, there's an extra life over here. I mean, I'd love to get that, but, um... Can't. upgrade soon. Again, they do a very good job of translating the basic buster of the Battle Network games to a 2D platformer. Okay. Yep, nope. I got to open this up. Alright, definitely want you. Uh, cannon would be nice. Okay, so unfortunately, sword enemies, I think... Yeah, Wide sword and long sword are both too, so even though I've been killing that enemy, it seems to be affecting regular sword instead. Well, I mean, since that's the enemy that's here, I guess I'll use this one. Hmm. I'm gonna keep shotgun here. I'm gonna keep the other weapon types in my back pocket for now. That should be enough. Alright, so I've got 10 uses of this, I've got 19 uses of the cannon. We're good to go. Oh, and I finally got Ring Zap. That one must be a very infrequent drop. Also, I think this game has a double jump, if I'm remembering correctly. And parsing the fact that there's a bunch of areas I can't get to that are too high up for me. <laughs> correctly. Hello! Oh, there's an Avi here. Hey, do you know any criminals guy over there that I don't know? Excuse me, is there a place to buy the Zero va Virus vaccine around here? I'm a very interested customer. Alright, so I really like this character's design here. I think he looks real cool. But now I just think he sounds like a, like, mobster punk, right? Because, like, all it does is slow down your processes, but once you're infected, you can't get rid of it in the usual way. So... <laughs> no kidding! Man, you didn't know anything about the Zero Virus. I'm playing along! Okay, so yeah, this is Starman, which should be kind of obvious given the star motif, but yeah, no. Real cool design on this guy. And he did used to sell the vaccine, so th this is why I think he's just a fucking, <laughs> like, mobster mook voice guy. <laughs> As much as I like his design, he was just out here on the net streets selling this fake virus vaccine. <laughs> I just sold the last batch. I can get some more though, if you got the zenny. <laughs> Mega Man, this is the guy we're looking for. Kick his ass. Ah, shit, it's the net cops. <laughs> Probably should ask more questions first. Not even my dad can analyze the zero virus. <laughs> and he's very smart. <laughs> Alright, time to skip down. There he goes. So yeah, very cool design. Uh, that... For the most part, will not appear in the rest of the games, except for another game that's not really canon. Ah, he didn't log off, he's somewhere nearby- oh god. Uh, but yeah, another, uh, not really canon game, uh, Mega Man Battle Network 4.5, which is like the- I think I mentioned this in the, uh, main, in the, the first game. 
uh, is sort of like a, a spin-off where you kind of get to like... It's kind of like an actual Navi simulator, sort of. It's hard to explain, but like... There's more uh, Navis that you can play as than just Mega Man, and they sort of do their own things in battles, and you just like give them battle chips, so it's like... Kind of how an actual Navi thing would work IRL, quote unquote. It is like the coolest concept on the planet if you're a child, and also still is pretty cool if you're me now. And it also like it semi recently got a translation. Uh, I think it got a translation like before I did the uh, LP of the first game. It was around that period. But yeah, Starman is actually a design in that one, and he is a, a playable uh, net navi. Whoop. Yeah, you are just straight up one of the uh, mini bosses from uh, a classic game. <laughs> he ran this way. Really weird imagining Starman running, just in general. Oh, hey, it's Number Man. Do I have to shoot you again, Number Man? Which way did he go, Number Man? Which way did he go? Well, I don't know about things I like, Number Man, but please, tell me about a guy I don't like, because he sells illegal... Bad vaccines. He's a real bad one. A just absolute hooligan, that guy. <laughs> We've tried nothing and we're already out of ideas. What do you want to do now? Tell your dad? Dex, Gutsman's Rampage. That's your... that's your voice, Dex. <laughs> Not what I'd expect. Alright. So Dex has managed to contain Gutsman within his computer. This is the first time Comcast has done anything good by blocking Gutsman in a tiny part of the internet. Sounds like he's already going crazy. Oh! Mmm. Heck. <laughs> Bronze Fist. What a, what a good design there. Uh, I don't need, need Recover 80. Okay, so... Power-up would be really useful, because this is how you upgrade your buster. I think I need one of these. And yeah, as it is in the regular series, uh, the more you buy something from a single shop, the more expensive it will be there. Uh, memory- is this a general memory up? Increases maximum MPs by 8. That's a general, uh, max up. So, hell yeah. It's not just, uh, something for default chips. It increases memory as well. I want that. And HP memory? Yes, absolutely. You die very quickly in this game. <laughs> Alright, so our next target is Gutsman. He's on a rampage. Why is there security in the outer net? But I thought nobody cared about the outer net. Thought it was a lawless wasteland. Okay, I can finally say stay. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm gonna make good on my progress to not just wantonly save. I do want Oh, power up, nice. Oh, that reminds me, I do need to use the power up here. Uh, I don't want to, you know, jump this game or anything. Again, I don't really want to game over. Because that will take up a lot of time. Alright, uh, Mega Man. I guess I could do attack and charge if I got two upgrades. Yep. 
All right. Why are you not firing? There we go. I don't know why he wasn't firing there. That was weird. All right, well, time to fight sword with sword. Heck, <laughs> I tried my best. All right. I don't remember. Oh, heck. <laughs> oh, good, I didn't fall. Uh, am I going the wrong direction? I wonder if there are any good maps online of this game, because I cannot say I remember this area super well. I might be going away from Dex's PC. I mean, at the very least, I'm getting items and stuff. Oh, and I got another ring zap. Nice. I think this is where I want to go. Oh, but I am at that. I might need to just jack out if I'm going the wrong direction, though. Because if I am going the wrong direction, it's actually, at this point, easier to just go to Mail's PC and proceed from there. Okay, yeah, nope, this is wrong direction. So yeah, let's just jack out of Cyber World real quick. It'll be faster this way. <laughs> and I can recover things. Plus, I do want to re- uh... reroute all my, uh, chips and whatnot. Okay, so, folder. I should have Ring Zap now. What's this look like? I've got two uses of it. Cool. So I'm not going to be relying on that one just yet. Uh, cross Bomb, I only have one use of. That is not worth replacing anything here. Also, I think I am going to favorite Cannon because I've got 20 uses of this. Alright, Shotgun, V-Gun. Good thing about Shotgun is it has 10 uses. More than V-Gun, but it is also basic. Also, this is probably the most useful sword has ever been in the Battle Network series. Like, usually I replace sword as soon as possible, but like, it's got nine uses, and obviously these two increase your range with it, but considering the way range works in this game, you kind of have to get close to things anyway, so... Really huge deal. Uh, I don't care much for Wrecker, so I'm gonna replace that one. I mean, it's also got two uses, so it's not super useful anyway. Or it's not, like, more useful than Zap Ring. Alright, I think we're good. I think that's all I need to go over. Yeah, it seems correct. Right, it's 1037, so I think we have about enough time to... Uh, go on and fight Dex. Keep forgetting. The map is here, you stay in the menu. Hey, Mail. I know I left your house a few minutes ago, but I'm back. Alright, Chip Data. So... I think in terms of going over... I'm going to want Zap Ring, Raton, and Dash Attack. Sword and Cannon will be useful for fighting Gutsman, so... I'm gonna keep these on me, and I'm going to rely on the Buster. I don't fully understand how charging works in this game. Oh, hey. Get dunked, idiot. Hoisted by your own rats. That's what you get for being a jerk. <laughs> I love the animation for Mega Man using this. He just sets it down. I mean, I might as well. Yep, perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen.
and work hand second. There. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to look up if there's a, uh, general map for this game that I can use inside, because I'm getting lost very easily. Like, to be fair, I usually need maps in the, uh, proper Battle Network games as well. Those areas, I think, are distinct to me. Because, like, I've played, uh, Battle Network enough that I can sort of muscle memory my way around. Oh! Oh, I got more bombs, good. I'm gonna have to look up the manual for this game, because I do not know why I can't do a charge, uh, attack. It's charging, but as soon as I let go of the button, nothing. I was wondering if it's like, maybe you have to press the, the button that would normally be for chips, but no, that's not it either. Forgot what buttons did what for a moment. Uh, he's a scary bird. Alright, well, I did go here before, so... I'm just casually make my way over. What'd I miss? Memory up. Oh, nice! Ooh, heck. Hey, I wonder if this game has iframes for spikes. I don't want to test it now. But, you know, the thought occurs. What if they, uh, mm. I should probably see if I can nab a heal real quick. Ooh, I can't. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, I can't get back up there, so I'll just keep going this way. Nothing to be nervous about, I just have, like, no HP left. It's cool, it's fine, it's great. I did also get a memory up, so... Ooh, a bunch of swords, too. Uh, definitely not a waste to, uh, have gone back to the overworld real quick. Oh god, the bane of my existence. Okay, it's done already. I am being pursued by another projectile, though. Oh, get me out of here. Okay, I've got no HP in a new area. <laughs> Let's hurry, or Gutsman might make it out into the net. Don't want Gutsman out on the net. We all know what happens when he does get out on the net. His ass is everywhere. Oh, out of that. Come on. There we go. Good. See, now I'm seeing the merits of, like, starting with a thing as your default. A, uh, uh, recovery chip as your default. <laughs> Whatever I don't have, I regret not having. <laughs> Alright, well, let's check, uh, this. Am I some sort of joke to you? <laughs> Alright, um, can I just, like, check hotkeys real quick? Hold on a sec, um, hotkey settings, where's the, f what's fast forward? Oh, I don't know if it has fast forward. All right, cool. Well, um, I don't think Zapring's going to be useful for the next fight. 
I don't think Stonebot's gonna be useful. Guard might be useful, but I'm not trusting my skills in that one. Uh, Mini Bomb is a little too slow. I think I want fast for this one. This has only two uses, so I'm gonna get rid of that too. Alright, so. I'm actually gonna drop save states and maybe run around because the custom meter, of course. Uh, this not being a main series Battle Network game fills up a lot slower than it does, uh, in a different game. <laughs> you can get to Dex's PC by going left, not up that cyber ladder. I'm sorry, I just really love the cyber ladder. I love talking about it all day and night. Let's not get killed by that guy. So anyway, I feel like... Some of the problems in this game are a little apparent already. It is interesting what they've uh, tried to do to implement uh, the Battle Network style into a platformer. But there are some snags here and there. Like the fact that waiting for custom uh, the custom meter to fill does kind of take a while. And look, I just here to heal, I would really like to heal. And look, I get it, I didn't buy a recovery item, but you know, I did kind of just want this. Okay. So to fight Gutsman, I'm gonna have a lot of close range stuff. Uh, actually, how do I undo things? B? Yeah, okay. Um, longsword, oh, okay, so the longsword has four uses now, so I'm guessing uh, the sword enemies drop random sword items. Let's see, see, shotgun, mini bomb, recover 30. Let's just heal to almost full. Alright, so I have two heals for the middle of the fight if I need it. Save state, and now, oh! To be fair, that's my fault. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame the game for that one. That was me not assuming there was a healing, uh, item right by here. Look, the game was nice, and it gave me a full heal before the boss. I just didn't look for it enough. Gutsman is here. You cannot deny that about him. Also, does he normally speak like this? I don't think he does. Uh, it must be the Zero Virus. It's... Making them do the the, the dumb uh, speech pattern. Yeah, turns out that's a bad idea. Hey Dex, did you know that people could make software maliciously? <laughs> Cut it out, guts man. He loves rampaging. What should we do? Beat him up. Look, we beat up Gutsman all the time as it is. What if we just did that more? Battle routine set. Execute. Okay, so, first battle was all about acknowledging that Slide exists. <laughs> he punched me. He's got a little victory lap. Alright, so this one's all about acknowledging that jumping's a thing. Though so you still need to slide to get under him. Otherwise you're in punch and range. Alright, I can learn this. Okay, so, as I thought, he does also have... A, oh god, that lasts a while. He does also have a, uh, jumping shockwave.
Oof. This is definitely a tricky one. I will say, bosses do not fuck around. But I do like that you can interrupt them in midair. I think if I uh, mix it up with swords, I could probably do this without too much issue. Okay, so I just have to be ready. That was actually too small a hop. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Damn, he punched me to death. Guts punch is not to be underestimated. Interrupt his jump attack, that's good. Oh, too early. You can interrupt all his attacks. Whoop. Actually, uh, now I want to do that again. I can do better. better. This is why I do no hit runs in the first place. They're not, not always exactly fun to do, but sometimes I'm just in the headspace of like, no, I can do this better. I can do better. I've got a little time left to waste, so... Okay, one more victory. One more victory. I, I feel like I can do this. <laughs> I won't do this for every boss, I swear, since it's a dream. Ah, heck, I wasn't able to react fast enough to that one. There we go. He at least didn't nail any nail me with any guts punches, so I'm happy with that one. Okay, so this game can be a little awkward at times in terms of like its actual design and the way the battle chips work, but gotta admit I do kinda like the boss fights. <laughs> like I thought I hated Fireman immediately, but you know what? Actually, it wasn't too bad. I think I like Gutsman more, though. It wasn't just, hey, do you know how to slide? <laughs> you better. Alright, well, Gutsman is back to normal. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. I was really hoping we just shot the virus out of him. You mean we can't cure the zero virus by just injuring someone? No internet for the foreseeable future. Wait, you can do that? You can just run a search for a net navi? <laughs> hey, where's this net navi? <laughs> At this given time. Alright, there we go. I do wish it asked to save immediately after that. <laughs> that would be perfect to end off on. Like, alright, we got we got the uh we got the bumper. <laughs> save there and then we return next week. 
after these scheduled messages. Alright, so... Here's the situation. Net Navis are being hacked, so that's bad. So yeah, Fireman and Gutsman are out of commission. Except in Spirit, where I can summon them. Uh, with the power of Mega Chips. Alright, you just beat people up until you can send them to bed. Man, this is so rude. What a jerk. Alright, it's too dangerous to go out, so don't do any trying to save the internet business today. None of that. Also, is there no Gutsman here? Oh, no, there he is. Land's just covering him up, but you can still see his arms. <laughs> Look. I know it, it's a little bit of a tired joke, but I do kind of wish it was just turned around so that the only thing I could see was the ass. I mean, look, to be fair, Gutsman's ass isn't really played out anymore. Lan, you just got four suspicious files. Oh, okay. We're already at this point in the game. I forgot this happened early, but we're kind of at like the, um... Hmm, how to describe this? It's sort of like the, uh... Mid-game of a classic Mega Man game, right? So, we've got Yay. He's got a big garden problem. Alright, so she's got a virus. What about Higsby? Oh, that also seems pretty bad. Oh, rare chip. Well, I gotta have that. Oh, this is mom. Okay, so she does make an appearance. This is actually where I figured uh, Lan's mom would be if she showed up at all in this game. So yeah, she's the one representing the waterworks. So yeah, Freud got a mention, but instead of actually contacting him for things that are happening at the waterworks, uh, it's our mom. <laughs> you might have to miss dinner today, so don't be disappointed. <laughs> Lan just smashes a nearby bookcase in pure fury. No, this cannot happen. Dinner will never be missed. And Mail. Oh god, I remember where Mail is. <laughs> so Mail, she needs help once again, but this time, instead of Roll being missing, she took a bus to the bank, and the bank security has gone crazy. Oh god, I remember what the bank is. The security is too tough. Oh, okay, so that's cool. They did do some work. So yes, we just received four emails. A whole lot of people are in trouble. Yep, the Navi hacking program. We have four locations we need to go to. And <laughs> then home and time for dinner. Uh, I don't want to do the DS Mega Man 5 land voice all of the time because it's the worst, but also I am entertained by it because it is the worst. Alright, so real quick, let's look at the map because we have a whole lot of new locations. The nice thing is that we can access these places without going to, like, the main internet. So, like, yeah, this is kind of just a lot of the mid-game. 
is visiting the various locations and stopping the disasters there. I feel like I want to go for the waterworks first uh, next time because, you know, Land's all about dinner. He can't have dinner be interrupted. I don't know if I want to do the bank first or last. I don't know, maybe I might do that first after all. Because, um, I don't remember a lot of the, uh, levels at this point in the game. I remember, I sort of remember the Netnavis. I remember a couple of them. Uh, but in terms of levels, the bank is based off of a very particular classic series stage that is also bad and is pretty infamous, I will say. It's infamous, and it definitely has other other Im other iterations in the Mega Man series. And it's definitely a favorite of uh, fan hacks or uh, fan games or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be, um... You know what? Yeah. Dinner be damned. I need to get the bank out of the way, so... We'll be taking the bus stop first thing next time, but that's gonna be the next stream. In the meantime, though, uh, that is it for this week's Mega Man Network transmission. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I got all the way to the, uh, the... Again, this isn't, like, the entire game. Uh, we're not going to do this and then immediately be in the end game, but, like... I remember this part of the game kind of being a decent chunk of it, so... We're gonna be on this probably for two streams, I'm guessing. Unless they're particularly short. But I'm guessing, like, two areas for each stream. I could be wrong, but that's sort of how it was for this one. But there was also a lot more ground to cover in this stream as well. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. For now, Guts Punch is very strong, so... Let's replace... Give me Wide Sword until that gets more uses. Alright, so yeah, that's it for now. Definitely want to save. I will be back again with more Mega Man Network transmission next week, 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, as for other streams, you can check out Code Vein on Thursday, or nope, that's Tuesday, uh, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Unless I decide to- oh god, unlockers are in this game. Ugh, I don't want to have to think about unlockers. Also, that's a great enemy design. Ooh, a Lek Blade, that looks cool. Looks really cool. <laughs> heat 5, or actually it's probably Heat V, because it's a V pattern, right? Yeah, diagonal to your direction, so it is actually Heat V. Anyway, though, yeah, uh, unless I decide to switch Code Vein to Thursday, because uh, Thursday right now is Phoenix Wright, Justice for All, which does have the potential to run long if I'm not careful. Uh, Code Vein's on Tuesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, yeah, like I said, uh, Phoenix Wright's gonna be Thursday, also 7 to 9. If it runs long again, though, I might, uh, switch it to Tuesday. Though, since I'm out of the beginning of the game, we might be out of the point where there's just this weird lopsided, uh, thing going on with... You kind of have the tutorial and then the real first section. Now it's going to be exploration and then an actual court case that's like decently lengthed without uh, having to consider the second half of it. But again, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway though, yeah, that's streams. Uh, but you can check me out on YouTube. I'm Fefner Mossimone on there. Fefner Mossimone, if I can pronounce that correctly. So, in addition to the stream VODs, uh, there's also the LPs. Mega Man X4 is on Monday, Wario Land 2 is on Wednesday, and Metroid Zero Mission is on Friday. Though that being said, uh, there's only two episodes of both uh, Mega Man X4 and Wario Land 2 left over, uh, and then I'm done for the year. Uh, the last few weeks will just be blank slots, and then I will start with other things in 2024. So yeah, coincidentally, uh, Mega Man X4 and Wario Land 2 started the same week and will end the same week as well. So that's fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
and then Metroid Zero Mission is just gonna go on as it will. And that's it for that stuff. If you want to support me, you can do so through Patreon or Coffee. I am Pepper on both those sites, and you can find the links easily enough in the Twitch bio, or the YouTube banner, or underneath the YouTube videos. Alright, well then. That was simultaneously about what I expected from Mega Man Network Transmission, but also not quite as bad. Again, I really like the bosses. I mean, I guess I am, like, quickly save loading, so there's no real stress of getting a game over against them. But I had fun. I really dug that. G Guts Man was uh, pretty fun. Anyway, though, yeah, that's it. Have a good night, y'all, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.